Hey guys, this is Manuel Garcia from Texas Tech University. Uh, I prepared this short video to explain in a briefly way how Contrave works. So let's start. Contrave is a platform powered by the United Nations in which gather information about the trade flow between different countries around the world. So let me take a look at the platform Comtrade. So that's how it looks. So in Comtrade, you can find uh, the data availability. Um, we can find a section for data visualization in which you can explore more detail uh, in a more visual way, reports created by Comtrade. So you can perform different activities uh, like a data pipe pipelines, uh, different process. And we have a series for features, new features, and publications. So you can take a look at this part if you're interested in it. But we are going to focus on how we can extract data um, from country. So this is going to be the first, uh, uh, how the platform, platform is going to look like. So in order to access to the data, we're going to click here and go to advanced search page. And then we're gonna see this, um, we're gonna see this dashboard in which we have the options to choose between a good or a service. So today we're gonna focus on a good. Then the frequency, if you want this frequency, the data to be in a frequency, in the annual frequency or monthly. Right? It depends on what level of aggregation you want to have your data. So I'm going to uh, select annual and then classification. So I think if you're using, if you're trying to find data before 1988, probably SITC is the one who got this data. But since we're using recent data, I'm going to use HS. All right. Uh, so let's start. So we're gonna modify our search here. Um, this example is gonna be about meat. I'm interested to know what the trade flow for the meat of bovine animals, fresh or chill. So this category includes uh, all the zero two or one. It means this one, this one, and that one, right? So I'm gonna get in the second level, which is zero two or one. Reporter. Reporter is a country. Uh, I'm going to search for Mexico. I'm interested to see how the trade flow works in Mexico. I'm interested in imports and exports. Uh, I'm going to check data from the last five, three years, probably four years. Oh, that's a different until 2018, right? Partners. I want to see the whole, the whole partners. And here, partners. What was the transportation or customs? I'm going to select all. All right. And then we're going to click here in download. I mean, you can preview the data like here below, or you can download. Like, uh, so I'm going to go for download. So we have to wait a couple of seconds until they reach. So oh, I forget to mention that you have uh, 200,000 records uh, in the daily basis using a free account. But if you want to access to the more advanced features, you have to get a subscription. But for our purpose, I think 100,000 observation is, is enough. OK, so that's our data. And, we're, and that's how we download the data. So now let's see what we can do with this data. Okay, let's take a look at the data we already downloaded from, from Comtrade. So we have a type code, we have the reference period, we have reference year, uh, the reporter code, the reporter, which is Mexico, the description of the reporter, which is the country. If you remember, we, we type only Mexico as a reporter. Um, the flow description, so it's going to tell us this is export and import from Mexico. Uh, the partner description, what countries are exporting beef into Mexico or 
what countries are importing beef from Mexico. Right. Um, here we have the description. This is middle bovine animals, fresh or chill. Uh, we're gonna focus on we're gonna focus on primary value, which is the value on exports or imports in dollars. Okay. We're gonna move forward. We're gonna create a, a, a pivot table to that to make it much easier the data analysis. So let's create a pivot table. So I'm gonna use the flow description as a filter. I'm interesting to know the reference year as rows. Um I'm interested on the partner description. I mean, reported description is not needed because we only have one reporter, which is Mexico. So it's not relevant to it. But partner description, it is relevant. It's in columns. All right. Uh, what else? And then we said that we're going to use, we could, we could either use the quantity exporter or importer, but I think it's more accurate to use the pr primary value since the prices for beef from different countries can vary uh, from country to country. So I think in terms of primary value, it's the most appropriate um, variable to use to express the selling. Here, we're not interested in, we don't want the word. Word is just the aggregated, um, trade flow, so we're not interested in word. The description, we're gonna choose import. We're just interested in the imports in the Mexican market. And, okay, yeah, that's, as you may see here, that's the missing volume. It means that for 2018, we have no record or zero value reported income trade in terms of trade from Japan. Import from Japan, we have no values. So that's happened sometimes. And then we have the values. So let's put those values in dollars. I think it's much easier for interpret. Okay. And those are 2018, the Mexican market import beef. Uh, Beef from Australia with a value of six million for for twenty nine thousand thirty two dollars from Canada they import a value of three twenty one million nine hundred twenty seven thousand three hundred ninety two dollars and so to so the U S that was the total uh, the grand total they spend of beef imports into the Mexican market from twenty eighteen. The same interpretation from 2019, 2020, and 2021, right? I think an easy way to interpret the values are in market share. So let's transform those values in market share. To transform those values in market share, we're gonna use here the value field settings for values. And we're gonna use the percentage of the grand total of the row total, yes. Since every year is independent, uh, we're gonna use the percentage of row total, right? So I mean, from 2018, 18, 18, 18.13% of the market share of imported beef into the Mexican market was dominated by the US. So it means almost nine pounds of nine pounds of every 10 pounds selling from imported beef in the Mexican market came from the US. And 10.66% of the market share were dominated by Canada. In 2019, you see the US has declined a little bit. They lose uh, like slightly 1% of the market share in the Mexican market. 
Um, in 2020, they recover, they grow up slightly. And in 2021, because of COVID and some restrictions, they decrease the market share. I mean, I bet probably it's because of COVID, but it could be many reasons. Uh, you know, the dynamics of the market, the international market dynamics is, uh, there's more than one explanation. So I don't, I'm just guessing. Maybe it's kind of related with COVID, but it can be more than one reason. So, so this basic analysis help us to read how the market share for imported beef in the Mexican market is dominated by those four countries, Australia, Canada, Japan, and US, and mainly is dominated by the US beef, right? All right, guys, so this is what I have for this video. Uh, this is the purpose of this video to explain a little bit how we can use the data from Contrade, how we can extract the data from Contrade, and how we can use this data in order to create those um, quite interesting reports useful to understand the dynamics in the import and export markets. All right. Thank you so much for, uh, for watching this video. And if you have questions, uh, feel free to email me.